Let's see how to connect your Google Sheet data on Google Looker Studio. And first, I suggest you to download our template, the CRM template. You can only simply access to the link that I will provide you on the description below. And once you have this template, you can simply go to File and on File, uh, make a copy. And on Make a Copy, you can create a copy of this document. Now you can interact with this document. Once you have made a copy of this document, it is time to create our Google Looker Studio report. And the step is simple. You will go to Google Looker Studio and you will create a new Google Looker Studio report. Here, you will connect Google Sheets. And on Google Sheets, you can find all the documents that are associated to your Gmail account. In this case, I can see the CRM template there, so you can easily find it. Uh, here, I can see the shared documents with me, so you can see the ones that you own and the ones that are shared with you. Okay, let's see this document. So we will search the CRM template. You can see the title of the uh, document. And now when you go to Google Looker Studio, you can find this document. The next step is finding the worksheet that specifically is the table that we want to bring to Google Looker Studio. In this case, it is called deals. And on deals, once we find them, now we can see some options. Some options are use the first row of headers, column headers must be unique, column with empty, etc. I will explain this. I will suggest to you that the first row of your Google Sheets is always the name of your dimensions. Otherwise, you will be limited when your data is updated. If you want to, if you want that your dashboards are automatically changing based on the changes of your Google Sheet, I recommend you to do it this way. To do it this way, it means to have a table that is similar to the template that we are providing to you. Once we understand these options, or once we understand that we can use or not the filters, in my case, I wouldn't use the filters because anyways, I can use filters on Google Sheets, on Google Looker Studio, then I can click on Add, and we have created our report, and we have connected to Google Sheets. It is time to create our first charts. So I will go to Insert, and then I will go to Table, and I will bring a table, but I will change the fields that I am seeing. So as a metric, I want to view value. Value in our Google Sheets represent the money for every contact in our CRM, the money that they are bringing to our business. So I will use this metric, but I will show you on the Google Sheets uh, where to find this. So on our Google Sheets, one column is called contact name as the table that we have on Google Looker Studio. And we have also a column for value. So here I can see that the same values or the same dimensions and metrics that I'm seeing here, I can exactly display them, display them on the Google Looker Studio report. So on Looker Studio, I have this table and I am breaking down my sales data by contact. Now I will go to insert and I will create a time series chart and I will paste it right here. And here I can see over time my sales, but look at this. The metric that I'm using is value, which is sales. So I am seeing my sales over time, but there is a metric as well that is called record count. Record count, I actually will remove value and I will explain record count. Record count is the number of rows that your document has. So automatically by default, Google Looker Studio is counting all the rows and it will create a metric for that. And according to this, we can have 110 rows or counts. And this is a metric for Google Looker Studio. So I will go to our Google Looker Studio report and I will go to insert and before this. This table or this time series that we're seeing is showing over time how many deals we are having based on the Google Sheets routes. So once we understand this, we will create another chart. I will go to insert and on insert, I will go to pie chart and I will paste this pie chart here. Now here, I can break down my data by date, but instead I would like to choose owner. So owner also is a column that I can find on the Google Sheets. So I will go back and I will paste owner. So now I have a chart, I have a dashboard where I can break down my CRM data by owner so I can see what a salesperson is performing the best. I can see my contacts and I also can see what contact is bringing more value or more money to our business. And also I can see over time how many deals we have. Now, what else I can do? I can change the size of this time series because I want to add more charts to this dashboard. So I will make it smaller and I will go to insert and on insert, I will choose column chart or bar chart, and I will paste the bar chart right here. Here, I want to change the dimension instead of date. I want to do opportunity stage. And with opportunity stage, I can see what step of the funnel are all my deals. By default, the metric is record count, but you can use something else like value. So we change, I have opportunity stage here, 
But what I'm doing here is not changing the metric or the dimension. I am changing the sorting of our table. So if you go here, you can see that we are on sort. And this table is sorting by record count, which means that it will show always the stage that has more deals. I don't want to do this because I want to visualize my funnel. So I want to organize by a stage. So instead of record count, I will choose opportunity stage. And now we are sorting our data by a stage, but I will make it ascending. So I can see this over time and actually it is descending. So I have the, uh, the fifth stage, then the fourth, the three, and the third and so on. Now I am displaying my deals by a stage so I can see in what stage most of my deals are. Now. What else is missing here? What I will do is I clicked, I can click in one or any of these bars. And on one of these bars, you can see that all my metrics and all my charts are changing as well. So when you create by default, a chart on Google Looker Studio is also a, met, uh, a filter and this is called cross filtering, but we have another class for that, another mm -hmm. lesson for that. I will remove this filter. I want just to show you this feature. And now I will change the order to ascending. So I have my stages of my deals correctly set up. So I have first leads, then qualified, then follow-ups, proposal, and negotiation. As you can see, I needed to add the numbers to this field so Google Sheets could understand the order of these values of the dimension opportunity stage. Now I will use the metric again. Record, instead of record count, I will use value so I can see my sales potential per stage from my CRM data. Now, I will go to my table and I want to replicate the Google Sheet I have because Google Sheet is a table and I have a table as well here. So I will choose the table and I will bring other dimensions like the company name, the contact name, and the phone number. Now I have a table that displays the data as I am displaying it on a Google Sheet as well. So you can see all your contacts data in a single table and this table exactly match matches your data from Google Sheets. Now, I will go to add a page because I want to show you a different chart. So on add a page, I will go to click on add a chart and I will choose map. And if I paste the map here, let's take a look. It breaks and it is breaking because Google Looker Studio doesn't understand what city is. I, we have a dimension that is called city, but city is a text. I need to explain Google Looker Studio what kind of data we are retrieving from our Google Sheets. So I will fix this. I will go to resource. I will go to manage our data sources and I will go to edit. In this step, we will explain Google Looker Studio, our data on Google Sheets. For instance, this is the default selection from Google Looker Studio. For Google Looker Studio, value was a number, but a more accurate way to uh, tag our, our metric is a currency. So I can choose the type of field that I am visualizing and instead of number, I can choose currency and I can choose US dollar. Now the field, value is a currency that represents US dollars. Now the next field is city. City is actually a text, but it is more accurate if I make it a city uh, as a value. So we use geographical data. So I will click on text and I will change the data type as geographic and as city. And I will continue, I will accept this. And now I will see what next, uh, what other dimensions I can change. Company name is a text, contact email is a text, contact name is a text. They created by default Google Looker Studio interpreted it correctly and it is a date. Opportunity last modified is a date as well. So everything is going well here. And phone number is a number, but you will never do any mathematical formula, formula with it. You won't multiply this. So it is actually a text. You will take it as a text. And now uh, here, what we did is that we explained Google Looker Studio our data on Google Sheets. Now I will click on done. And we will be done. I will click on close. I will remove this original map and I will create it again. So I will click on insert. Then I will click on vowel map. And on vowel map, I will paste my new map here. And here now identified. We will request to identify the dimension city correctly as a city. It is time to make this vowel or this map more useful. So for the size of the vowels, I will use record count. Now, if you want to go to Google Sheets to compare the data, there is a column that represents city. And as you can see, you can see Denver, Rio, Tokyo. And if you have seen Money Hist, you know what I am talking about. And here, now I have a map where I can display my data. And with this, you can see that you can visualize any data from Google Sheets and Looker Studio 
but I will add something else. What about if we make our report interactive and we have a lesson about filters and controls and we will look at Studio, but today I will give you a snapshot of this. So here I will go to add a control and on add a control, go to drop down list. And now I can choose a drop down in the report. Let's see what I can do with this. The dimension that I will use won't be city, but opportunity status. So I want to see if my deals are won, lost or pending. I will choose it. I will go to a view mode of my report and now I can filter my data by status. For instance, I want to see only the one deals I have. And now I will show this again. And now this will break down my data and will only, only show my deals that we have won, the actual money that we have in our business and in what locations this value, these deals come from. And with this, you know already how to connect your data to Google Looker Studio so you can automate your reports for any data. And if you want to access this Google Sheet template, you can go through this tour or you can access the link below in the description of this video. I will see you in the next lesson.